Yeah, it seems to be a lot of uh, focus on on order for an asynchronous uh, framework. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean like it's too much of uh, talk about order or? Um, no, I'm just uh, thinking like this, uh, like step. Uh, uh, I mean that 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 certain things should arrive in a certain order. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel that like important for an asynchronous uh, point uh, of view. What you mean? Uh, so you, you know why they like they. Uh, Actually, the, like... the asynchronousness is in the sense that you don't know when it arrives, so you don't wait for it until it arrives, but you have an overall expectation on the order of the things. So if I push A first and then push B, I expect that the B shouldn't arrive sooner than A. So, okay. but I don't know when they arrive. That's the asynchronicity of it. Mm. And this order actually is important in some cases. If you lose the order, you lose action. So the, the time here is relative. So you know that something is sooner than something else. That's yeah. the only time that sometimes actually you need. You don't need a, a concrete time. You just need to know if something has happened before or after another thing. And okay. a lot of times it's just a batch operation. You don't care about the time. But the framework supports if you need it. All in right. the same way that you have list and set, it's you can compare it in that way. In Java, some of the data types have order, some of them doesn't, just because mm -hmm. there are different cases. So it tries to be uh, like the, it tries to have feature parity with the imperative word. Mm. Oh, then I, I guess. Mm. Cool, cool. Yeah, so let's go to the next to the next test. Mm, and that's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. All two fresh fishes in the batch. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the mono you can remove from the name. Uh, so that's a this e. one? No, no, this one. This mono here. It shouldn't be a mono. It should okay. be a flux. Mm. What we need ah, to create? Yes, we need to change it here as well. Uh, no, not here. Uh, you have a fish batch, and your batch is inside the mono. And you need to create a flux out of that one. We had the API for that. So let, let's see what is our batch. Yeah. So record. We have the batch with a set of all the fishes. Uh, and if we only want two fresh fishes in the batch. Uh, I guess we should try and filter them get the size of the, or get the amount of remaining and assert that. Uh, you can also use the, uh, you can, step, uh, uh, the expect next and just see that it's a fish, two fishes. Yeah, yeah, that's also possible. But your suggestion is better. Let's go for your suggestion because we have, okay. I don't remember how to do that, but <laughs> we can see. But so a filter. Um, yeah, I guess. But what okay, now, so now we have a mono of the fish, ba fish batch, which in mm. turn contains the set. Uh, I feel like there's an example of this in the readme. <laughs> do some kind of flat map thing that we we want the internal yeah. flat map. Yeah, there we go. We got the flat map 
iterable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So, then okay, we... so now we have our, I think we could do it on a separate line just to replicate the readme. So when we have the, oh, uh, wait, but you wanted us to rename it there. Yeah, then maybe we should do it here. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I got confused when I looked at it, but that, what you saw, it was my initial plan, but it's fine. You can continue here um, as well to say. Yeah, maybe we can. Hmm? So after the mono, just can we call a flat map iterable right away? After the just, right? There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what it gives you? What do you have inside your mono? It gives it to you here. Mm -hmm. Means so there we have a set of a fish batch. Fish batch. Oh, we have a fish batch, right? Yeah, there we are. Yeah. So we should be able to exactly call the or get the fish set from the fish batch one. Mm -hmm. We need to do the fish batch uh, one, I think, or huh? Uh, here uh -huh. it works, but it should be fish. Ah, fish okay. Batch. Yeah, it's referring this thing in the one that's out of the lambda. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we should give it fish batch one. Yeah. yeah. And of and course, but now we have just a... using the reference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you have now? now? We should have a now we should have a flux of uh, fishes. Mm -hmm. So I used var here, and IntelliJ is telling me what do I have here inside my var. More so than one fish. Uh, it's the name of the test class, so it's a flux mm -hmm. of fish. Huh. It's what you wanted. Mm. Right, so now we can filter on what was it? <coughs> Fresh fishes. Mm. So, first, the fish uh, is not too old, or what was it? So Fresh enough. Uh, yeah, what do we have? Fresh enough. Exactly, yeah. Mm. We have that is fresh enough, yeah. And that was the only demand, up, up, except for being two. Yeah. Is there a way to just get a size of a flux? Or I remember that we did this in one of the earlier sessions. Uh, so just try, see if there's a count or anything like that. Is there any size or no? Uh, yeah, that looks good. Mono of a long, sure. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, then if you want to count here, maybe you want to change the name of the variable as well. It's not a flux anymore now. Oh, now it's just a count of a fish batch if we apply a filter to the fish batch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's number of some things. But, but count is fine. You can keep the file count. You need to rename the. Should be. Something like fresh fish count, or yeah, is the fish batch flux? Mm -hmm. Fresh fish mm -hmm. counts in batch. Mm -hmm. 
uh, fresh. Hmm? Count. Count, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So here we have more of a long, so we should be able to use a step verifier, I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And accept that uh, the only value is uh, two. Exactly. And this is when you can move it above, I don't, don't worry. Uh -huh. I, I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and expect next, uh, yeah, yeah, just like that. And the complete and the verify. Is it? Is it? Or is that, do we, yeah, interesting. Uh, I would have expected that they would, that next count would count. Oh. Sorry, so then we should remove the count from the, but let's try. Yeah, I think it should just be expect next as well. But this could have been, if so this expects the count of the items, then this could have been interesting in the fish case above, where we had the four lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's try this and see what it says. Yeah. So you're expecting two cons here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it should fail, yeah. But if we remove the count, uh, on line 122. Does it do the right thing then? Ooh. Except that the name is misleading then, but. Yeah. yeah. You can remove the font from the name as well. Yeah. And then that should do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. All right. That's it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, to your nice. point, yeah, and to your point, Mr. You are right. We could have used this count uh, expectation on the previous test. Mm -hmm. That actually made it nicer, look nicer. And more correct, right? Because now it could contain more than. If I remember right, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the fishes, we just checked that at least those are in there. But with the count, we can, it's we exactly can that. try that. Uh, if you go, actually no. So if you go to that test uh, mm -hmm. that had some some weird four cop copied lines, uh, yeah, this one. So if you remove one of these lines, the test would fail. Yeah, but if you add a fish, uh -huh. yeah, if, I expect, if, expect complete uh, catches that, so there can't be any one. All left. right. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's Good. True. Good questions. Good stuff. These are the things that is hard to explain separately. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. oh, very yeah. cool. That's it. Very nice. well. Hmm? Um, mob next. Yeah, please. Hmm?